Rennes took on Clermont at Ronzo Park on Sunday afternoon with the hosts looking to get their push for the European places back on track. The Rennes had suffered a painful couple of weeks following up a 3-1 defeat at home to Lille and since replaced them in the top five with another 3-1 loss, this time to Toulouse before losing 2-1 to Shakhtar Donetsk in the first leg of their Europa League playoff tie. Clermont meanwhile perhaps had less to play for, their impressive run having come to an end, leaving them rooted in mid-table, far from the European spots, but also far from danger. They're in need of a win though, after two draws and two defeats in the last four games, and started off on the right foot. Rajon Kier with an elegant flick, and a shot straight at Steve Mondanda. Hosts improved as the first half wore on, and deservedly found the breakthrough eight minutes before half-time, albeit with the help of a lucky deflection. Alvaro Maia did well to thread a neat ball into the path of Ana Calimuendo. The striker saw his effort loop up over Mori Dior. Frustration for Matthias Piotrescu, getting a boot to the shot, but only helping it find the net. The keeper helpless. It's almost a case of deja vu in northwest France a few moments later. The ball breaking to Calimendo, and again his shot deflected goalwards. This time Dior doing excellently to get down quickly to his right. Pascal Gastien hoping Lady Luck would give him a break and undeterred his side went on in pursuit of an immediate response. Came within inches of finding an equaliser when Neto Borges headed the ball into the ground but it bounced narrowly over the bar. Their emphatic 6-0 win in the first ever top flight duel between the two clubs in September 2021. Brandon surprisingly lost the next two, so determined to bounce back in this fixture as well as the league in general. And they made their lead twice as comfortable in the 65th minute. Carl Toko Ikambi's shot was parried into the path of Callum Wendo. And the easy task of turning home into an empty net to double his tally for the afternoon. Two goals down, having failed to find the net four consecutive league matches. The comeback always seemed unlikely for Clermont. That didn't stop them trying. But sometimes it's just not your day, and that certainly seemed to be the case, as Mohamed Cham was denied a combination of Mondanda and the post. Down the other end, Clermont did finally catch a break of sorts. Adrian Trufez, low shot, well saved again by Dior. This time, Viatesca there to prevent an easy goal on the rebound for Amin Guiri. From there, Ren comfortably saw out the remainder of the contest to earn a valuable three points that ends their three-match losing streak, sees them reclaim their top five spot. Clermont remained 12th, but have now gone five league matches without a win.